New York, 10 years after the World Trade Center attacks. We wanted to find out how people there are living with the memory of those traumatic events and the losses they suffered. In 2001, Timothy Welty was a firefighter, 34 years old. He had been on duty the night before September 11th and was about to go home when the first plane struck. In fact, he had already signed out of the firehouse and afterwards they thought he had gone home. They didn't realize that he had gotten into his gear and jumped on the truck. So it was it was three months before we knew for sure what had happened. It wasn't until December the 11th that we got the call from the medical examiner to positively identify Timmy's remains. With every event, it, it brings everything to the surface again. There's no way to get away from it. So we really haven't been allowed to heal. How does Adele Welty cope with such profound grief? We accompanied her on a visit to a good friend in Long Island. Talat Hamdani emigrated over 25 years ago from Pakistan to the USA, where she made a home and raised three sons, all American boys. One of them, Salman, had been a volunteer EMT, emergency medical technician. He too died during the attacks at the age of 23. Shared loss has united these two women, one Catholic, the other Muslim. They met through Peaceful Tomorrows, an organization founded by family members of those killed on September 11th. The group brings together people of diverse religious faiths who all want something positive to come out of the death of their children. There's this picture with his brothers, you know, at the wedding we went to in, towards the end of August in 2001 and Salman is in the middle. And the other picture is uh, when he was uh, on the football team. When Salman didn't return home, what did you think then in those days? Well, we knew he would go down to help. That, that was him. We knew, I mean, as a first responder, you know, you just react. You just train your condition to react. Our grieving process was delayed. For six months we had the hope he's alive. There were so many American Muslims detained, yes. Did the reality sink in? When did you suddenly realize that he's not detained? Well, to be honest, I still had hope that he maybe he's detained even after his funeral. That was my uh, way to cope with this. Yeah. That was my, you know, I, I mean, I had family members who would contest me. I said, I know he's dead, but the moment I accept that he's dead, I break down. So what's wrong with it if I say, you know, maybe he's gone to England to study like he did before or he's somewhere. It's hard. Especially when you haven't seen the face. Yeah. You know, that's what everybody tells me. It took ten years for my country to stand behind me. Ten years it took, you know, I mean, I didn't just start speaking this year or last year. Adele is, you know, testimony to it. I've been speaking since day one. The day Salman did not come home, you know, uh, we started searching for him and then we had to, you know, defend our faith and say, no, you know, we are good people, we are good Americans. And uh, uh, so it took ten years, you know, for uh, the American nation to finally uh, acknowledge my son's heroism. The heroes of downtown Manhattan, many local places of remembrance now salute them. We're going to the Tribute Center, which was started and is um, 
run by Lee Ielpe, whose son Jonathan was killed with my son Timothy. They were from the same firehouse. They were friends. They played hockey together. We visited a construction site right next to Ground Zero, where the new memorial will open in September 2011. Seeing firefighters on duty here, it's impossible not to think of the events of 9-11. Lee Ielpi and Adele Welty had arranged to meet and see the memorial to the New York City firefighters together. This plaque honors their late sons with name, occupation, and rank. On the huge planned memorial, there will be a difference. All 2,977 victims of the 9-11 attacks will have the same status, regardless of occupation. Yeah, the plaque outside was made specifically for firefighters by the New York City Fire Department. Um, so that's the only reason it has just firefighters. It's on the wall of a firehouse and it brings tribute to the 343 men that died on 9-11. Inside tribute, it's, it speaks to those people that don't have a voice anymore. From the beginning, opinion over how to memorialize the tragedy was sharply divided. Years ago, six years ago, when we were talking about the names, Lee and Adele want their sons to be acknowledged as firefighters on the new official memorial as well. If you start speaking up now, it's going to be too late. And you know what? It's too late. The Tribute Center is a small museum next to the Ground Zero construction site. It was founded by the September 11th Families Association. Why does Adele feel so strongly that her son Timothy should be named as a firefighter? Timmy was only at the World Trade Center because he was a firefighter. He didn't work there. So it seems to me there should be an acknowledgement that um, he came to save lives and lost his life at the same time. Some of the people in these pictures were identified by at least some form of human remains. Some have simply vanished without a trace. Remains of Adele's son, Timothy, were recovered. She was able to lay him to rest, but has not let him go. The friend of Timothy's, the son of Tribute Center director Lee Ielpe, died in the same firefighter squad at the same time in the South Tower and was identified only by his firefighter jacket. 